What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing OD. In today's video, we are here for the start of the 2023 Montreal Shad Run. I'm here with my buddy JP. And for me, this is a super exciting time of year because the American Shad runs right up here to Montreal. And what's so special about this time of year is not only are we waking up super, super early to go fishing. Like we set our alarms for 3 a.m. today to come here. But what's super special for me about this is that the whole community, the whole fishing community in the area gets together for this one specific species of fish. And as you guys are gonna see a bit later, this spot and this area gets absolutely loaded with fishermen. Shad has to be one of my favorite species. Not only are they absolutely amazing fighters, but the way you target them with super long, light, soft rods, and light line has to be one of the most fun ways you can target any species when fishing. We're using six pound test and these fish fight super hard. They're ocean fish. They run up here all the way from the Atlantic Ocean and these are hardy fighting fish. So the shad run is only beginning. We're here to give it a try today and we're gonna be heading down there to hopefully get on a couple shad for today. And later on, I'm gonna take you guys through the gear that we use and how we target these fish specifically and the ways that you wanna be fishing them. But for now, our goal is just to put a few in the net. So let's get down there and we're gonna get straight to fishing. All right, JP's already been in there for a few minutes. It's my turn to get in, getting my rod set up here. I'm gonna fish above JP. I'll have JP push below me a little bit. All right, I'll let you drop down just a little bit. I'll go above you. I do have the longer rod after all. <laughs> well, there's a few things, okay? So it's not the right time yet. It's a bit early still, another week, and I think it's gonna be really good. The other thing is the current's not right either. We should have a good amount of slack water in front of us and they'd be holding here, but we have like a current that's coming down like this, straight left, and then it cuts back towards us. Our current's going this way here. Even if we planned to do that, you wouldn't have been at my place before we would get out by now. Tu comprends? Even if we had said, okay, we're going for Walla and St. Louis. Yes. Yeah. Tighten your drag. No, it's a fish, they're fish. Okay. Gotta just keep pumping it like you're doing. When he gets close, make sure you don't high stick it too much because he will pop out. First shot of the season, let's go. Tilt your rod the other way. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Good job, dude. It's Mr. Pitsy, I'm gonna get you the camera. All right, first shot of the season, get him back. <laughs> You're so lame. You should be more excited than that. <laughs> it's not okay. Bye. <laughs> You're so boring. I can't believe I haven't hooked one yet. No. <laughs> They're a pro. Tighten your freaking track. Why? I don't know. You got him? Nice. It's a little male. Little male. It's like a bit. You got to be able to hold this guy. Come on. Our petit bébé. Lip it if you have to. Dude, there's nothing wrong with lipping it. Bye, Shad. Bye, Shad. That's it. Okay. That's it. okay. I'm missing the bite. Hey. Oh, I lost it. Okay. My turn. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, this guy. Putting me to shame. He's on his third one. I haven't even been bit yet. Oh, it's there. Don't hook me. Lift. Lift, G. Take your net. I have to get shots, dude. Oh, yeah. 
Shad Master, what do you have to say for yourself? It's the blue, uh, the thing. blue one, uh, eh? Blue jig. Yeah, something about this one. The blue one. You can even let him swim out of the net if you if you put the net real low. That's okay. All right. Good job, dude. No way! Tsunyais! Allos! Ouais! Il est en feu! Il vient, il vient une fois par année, puis. Il est en feu? Beginner's luck, man! Beginner's luck! No! Let's go, GP! Let's get a jump or something! Nice female, maybe? Get it in. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. There we go. Oh, you literally just throw them. This guy's crazy. <laughs> right back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, GP. Dude, donne moi la chance, man. The best. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My god, dude, this actually doesn't make sense. Number five for JP. I don't even have one yet. Wow. Yeah, Rosie <laughs> Master. Maybe the fifth one you're actually gonna hold it or something or show it to the camera. Come on. I'll risk it all this time, okay? I'll, I'll just risk and slice my hand for you guys. You're gonna risk getting a hook in my face. <laughs> Maybe oui, it's because the way you're fighting it. <laughs> it's okay. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's get another one. Yeah, it won't take long for you. You want me to show you how? Yeah, I want one. My last night I watched a video on YouTube is on uh, Fishing OD, uh, Fishing OD's channel. Yeah. And uh, good tricks on there. So what does he do? Cast. And uh, he said the uh, retreat. Okay. You shoot foe. And, uh, and they bite. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, Okay, get in there. Show me how it's done. All right. Go. Can't talk. Ah, oh, it's a joke, man. It's the spot. It's the spot. It's the spot. That's crazy. I can't believe you're at six and I haven't had a bite. You should put touch at that. Take your time with this guy. That's it. Number six, man. Ooh. Ooh. This guy doesn't want to listen to me. I've been giving him tips uh, since this morning, but uh, no. You could put. Number six for this guy. Can't believe it. It's his drift. I'm telling you, it's his drift. Check. It's your drift. It's your drift. I've been watching. It's your drift. What am I doing? You're getting them all right off the same spot. Check. Check me. Getting them right off the current seam over there at that. Insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Number seven. What the hell? Dude, this guy is doing something right, let me tell you. There's something about this shirt. I don't know what it is, but there's something about this shirt. Something about it. That's crazy, man. That's number seven, and I haven't even hooked one. What? May we? Wow, dude. Number seven. That's actually, that's actually crazy. I would love to get a shot of it. Oh my god, man. Tu pas capable? No, I can't. Sorry guys, you're gonna have to win those Yeah, when I get one, you're gonna be able to see it properly, but JP doesn't want to hold them properly for whatever reason. <laughs> he, knows, he doesn't want to show you the magic jig. Two seconds later. Dude! 
I, I can't even take out the camera at this point. Oh my God, number eight for JP, number eight for the boy. Wow, this video is all about him. Oh yeah. Good shit, man. Dude, you're crazy. This guy's on fire. You know what? what? what Take the it? camera. Give me the fish. Okay, I will. So we can show it. We can show it to the camera. Because no if I'm not gonna catch one, they're not gonna see a fish today. That's uh, JP's number eight of the day. Beautiful, beautiful shad. On va faire une belle petite remise à l'eau. Qu'est-ce que t'en penses? Ciao, bye. I wish I could say I caught it, but that wasn't me. That was all him. The best. You have the magic touch, man. There we go. It's your drift. <laughs> it's your drift. There we go. Number one of the day for me. So that's nine total. Little guy, I think. My first one of the year, though. Yeah, little, little, little guy. Oh, he's off. That happens. That happens. Well, I'll consider that my first shot of the season. Fought that one a lot longer than the one that I hooked the other day. I'm of the belief that it's the drift. I'm gonna try again if I get another one. I'm convinced that it's the drift. They're just stacked in that one specific spot. I've been fishing a little bit to the right of JP, not drifting nearly as far. So we're gonna see if maybe they're just coming right from that current seam, right on that corner. We're gonna see if we can get back in there and get another one. That's the drift right there. Right there. That's where all the fish came from. <laughs> Told you. Did I call it? I said it. It's that drift. That's a good one. Or just reel in. Should be fine. It's a good one too. Yeah, yeah, you're good. He might come off because he's going straight down, but. Yeah, that's a good fish. He might pop off. I'm fighting him straight downstream. Big shad. It's right there. It's right on that spot. Oh, it's fighting hard, that guy. Woo. I don't know if I'm going to land him. It's not feeling likely right now. He is so far. It's dogging me, man. Big shad. It's because it's straight down current. And it's not a small one either. Okay. I'm kind of water skiing him in right now. Uh, let me see if I tighten that drag a bit. Try water skiing him. It'd be sick to land one. Oh God, man. That's crazy. Absolutely dogging me, this one. It's almost here. This is where they pop off though. All right, come here. I'm just gonna water ski him. Come here. It's not even that big. <sighs> made it happen. Made it happen. It was a bit of a struggle, but we made it happen. All right, guys, my first shad of the season. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Just gonna tuck it right back. Look at that. Big, big female. Should be good to go. There we go. Oh man, that was a hard fight actually. Hopefully we could get some more. I think they're stacked right there. So we're gonna have to get right back in there to see if we can get another. JP's on fire today, man. I gotta clean this lens. This lens is filthy. Number nine. Number nine, it's turning out to be a pretty good day. Did you get him? Nice, dude. Number nine for JP. Where'd it go? Goodbye. Goodbye, Shad. Number nine. Good job. There's one. Yeah. Number three. Man, I missed this. Allos. I tried a short cast on that one. 
I cast it right there. So when the current shifted, I tried to short cast. Man, I love the fight of these fish, especially on an almost 13 foot rod. It's the best. Do you see that rod flex? Damn, son. Oh man, six pound test, light action rod. Oh my God, he is so small. It is so small. They're hard to land with the 13 foot rod though. Not gonna lie. Okay, little guy. All right, that's my second fish landed, third fish total. And we're just gonna get him straight back. That was a little guy as far as shads go, but little male, caught a big female, and they're biting. What is that now, 12? 12. Let's see if we can hit 20 today. We hit 20, we go. That's gonna be the goal. 20 and then we're out? I guess, unless, right, unless, we, hit, unless we hit 20 fast then. I think, I think 20 and we call it. <laughs> I know that, that's what happened to me. Hello. There we go. It's a little guy. Oh man, this is fun. I'm only at number four and I'm having a blast. Oh my God, that is small. That is so small. Look at the size of this shad, dude. Little guy. Well, that's number four for me. I said it was my last one, but three uh, landed. Number four, the other one I got like right to here. Number four, so that puts us at uh, 13 on the day. Landed 12. Hello. Number five. That's how shad fishing should be. Back to back. That's a better one. It's not a little like my last one. Oh, that one's dogging me. Putting the Simtar Miravel combo to work today. Not as many as JP. JP's got nine, I got four. I am catching, I'm closing the gap though. Oh my God, it's a dink. It's another dink. It's another pipsqueak. You need to sit pipsqueak. I don't know why I'm choosing to net this guy, but the last one I didn't net. Oh, okay, I can't do it with the long rod. Little guy. It's gonna show you this fish really quickly. Okay. That's what he ate. Pops right out, because it's barbless. There we go. Beauty shad. Gone. So that's my number five. Number five. What? Right here. Guys, <laughs> I knew it. I freaking knew it. I called it. <laughs> I knew it, it was too perfect. <laughs> number six, love me some shad fishing. That's number six on the day for me. That's putting us at 15 for the day. If I can get this guy anywhere close to landed, we're just gonna count that as caught today. The day started off relatively slow. It took a while before we got our first fish, but then JP started smoking them one after the other after we moved down a little bit. And now it seems like it's too easy. We know where they are. We know what they want and we're catching them. My arms are kind of hurting. That's why I'm fighting it like this. Holding a 13 foot rod in your hand, one handed is a bit tough on you, but I love having this long rod. Fishing six pound test. Super long rods. Oh, he's wrapped around my line. I'm probably gonna break off. Yeah. Oh, you're good. There we go. We're gonna go over the gear in a bit. Tell you guys exactly what I'm using to catch these fish. Look at that bend though, eh? <laughs> there we go. Landed. So that's my fifth one landed. Six one hooked on the chartreuse jig again. This one's actually probably a female. It's quite a bit larger than the other ones I caught. Gone. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Then we're gonna go over all the gear and then we're probably gonna take off because I'm definitely gonna be back this year. Probably quite a few times, so I don't need to get a crazy day out of this today. Let me know if you want your spot back, eh?
There we go. Seven. Oh yeah. It's okay, you don't need the camera on this guy. It's getting a bit much now. Oh wow, it's dogging me, dude. All right, get in your shad. Shadwick. This long rod's crazy. Okay, come here. All right, that's number seven for me. Oh, he's out. Hook's in my hand. We're good, number seven. Okay, last cast for me too. Make it count. All right, that's it. Can't lie on the one last cast rule. All right guys, so we're off the water now. It ended up being actually quite a good day of shad fishing. We didn't fish all that long, but we ended off the day with 16 fish, 15 landed. But all in all, it ended up being a pretty good day. It's only gonna get better from here. But I wanted to take a second to quickly talk about the gear we're using. So we're both using six pound tests for these fish. I actually even enjoy four pound tests for shad. I think four pound test is even better than six. I ended up going with six because that's all I could find. But I prefer the line diameter of a four pound test monofilament line. You don't want to be using fluoro. Fluoro first off doesn't have enough stretch and it's too heavy for when you're fishing those really long distances. You get too much line sag. And to accommodate that line, we have super long steelhead rods. JP's rod is a bit less fit for this type of fishing. It's a nine foot six medium moderate action rod, which does the job really well. But I actually prefer the rod that I was using today, which is a 12 foot six light power, slow action rod. I find that's absolutely perfect for shad fishing and especially for accommodating that lighter line. This rod I believe is rated from four to eight pound test. JP's was rated from something like six to 12. So JP's was a little bit stiffer, but clearly it didn't stop him from out fishing me. And as far as the reel goes, we're just using the 2500 Shimano Miravel today. You could be using the Vanford, the Nasky, pretty much any reel that you could find. But I prefer a 2500 size reel. And I really enjoy the lightness of the Miravel for this application. And I forgot to mention that the rods we're using today are the Simtar by Shimano. These are a steelhead lineup of rods. And like I said, they work really, really well for these fish. Oh yeah, I didn't go, I didn't go over the uh, shad dart. We're using shad darts today. I believe these are quarter ounce shad darts. I could be wrong. Do you know by heart what they are? Bernie, what he does? I believe these are quarter ounce. They could be three eighths, but I believe they're quarter ounce. Color doesn't really matter. JP seemed to get all his fish on the blue and uh, white ones. Most of my fish came on the chartreuse and white, but regardless, color doesn't usually matter too much, but we ended up getting quite a good day of fishing in today. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The first shad video of the season. This won't be the last time I come here, that's for sure. JP and I had a great day. Honestly, we could keep fishing and probably get to 25, 30 fish today easily. We're at 16 today, but because I know I'm gonna be back, there's no point in staying in. JP's more than happy with how his day ended up going. The Shad Run is a pretty special thing, and I love coming down here every year to fish. And if you're considering trying out the Montreal Shad Run, there's some things for you guys to know. Just be respectful to other anglers. It can get crowded. Today it was actually the least crowded that I've ever seen it and still managed to catch a good amount of fish. But when you're fishing next to other people, be respectful, your lines are gonna get tangled and always watch at how the other people are fishing. If they're all casting in the same way, follow them and try to time your casts with the people around you to not be tangling up with them. And these are very delicate fish, they're very fragile fish. So we all pinch our barbs, like all of us, like me and my buddies, we all pinch our barbs and there's a few other anglers that pinch their barbs as well. These fish aren't hardy fish. A lot of them die if you handle them for too long. And even though we film, we managed to get our fish back quicker than most people, which is actually crazy. But a lot of people do keep these fish for table fare, which is fine, you're allowed to do that. But we do catch and release. So if you're focusing on doing catch and release, make sure you pinch those barbs. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like, comment down below for what you guys wanna see in future videos. And as always, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button to be notified as to when I post a new video. And if you're looking for further ways to support the channel, head over to www.fishingod.com, pick up some merch. I got toques, 
I got hoodies, and I have my Lightroom preset packs, which are made to put over your fishing photos. If you wanna take your fishing photo editing game to the next level, go ahead and pick up my Lightroom preset packs. They're available on mobile and desktop, and included is 15 presets that you can apply to any fishing picture, any picture in general, whether it be with your phone or with your camera. So if you like the way my pictures look, these are the presets that I use, that I created on all of my pictures, and it is a really good way to support the channel. So go check those out up on my site, and I'm just gonna leave it there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Light action, slow, uh, light power, slow rod. Is that how you say it? Light power, slow action, right? Slow action. But I actually prefer my rod, which is a 12 foot six, light action. I said light it, I said power. Yeah, slow action. But I actually prefer my rod that I was using today. I was using a 12 foot six, light powered. <laughs> but I actually prefer. <laughs>